second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your... Uh, the frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I... I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. Ah, I will go talk to Monsieur de Saint-Maxon at once. Most grateful, Monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. My boy, the cargo is stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had the gall to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain! If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. And I will double it with dice. Are you the captain of this ship? Si! Capitan Carlos Dominguez, at your service. May... May we speak in private, Capitan? Who am I to refuse such a comely creature? Come. Would you be so kind as to tell me what happened with Monsieur de Saint-Maxon's shipment? <laughs> Why would you want to know? <laughs> bah! Don't you worry, my little Arthur. The cargo found its way to the intended recipient. Let me pour you a cup. I dare you to tell me this isn't the best material wine that ever graced your heavenly lips. If... if you insist, Capitan. I do. You will not find a better vintage in all of the New World. I'm intrigued. Truly. Thank you. 
They hid the goods in two warehouses. Sure ain't no Harry Dan. Eh bien, quelle jolie robe avons nous là? Thank you. 
Bien bonjour I am terribly grateful for your assistance, Mademoiselle de Grandpré. But how did you ever... <laughs> Never mind. Just please, tell your father to expect a considerable discount for his trouble. You may uh, put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks are owed to Saint Nicolas. Or perhaps a uh, guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I am sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. I will leave you both to your private business. Aveline. The documents you found upon the Rat Captain's ship. I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you, uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command. Monsieur Blanc. Nos chemins se croisent à nouveau.
Êtes-vous une sorte d'ange Remember, we need these goods delivered to the south entrance just after sunset. Here, this will grant you access to the kitchen.
With the Spanish under our spell, the company man will at last have the power to fulfill our true purpose. And if you provide us the labor, we'll ensure the errors of Santo Domingo are not repeated here. I will do all I can to smooth the handover of the colony, and your mission will have all the workers it needs, provided you make good on your promise. Labor is in tight supply as it is, and I must remain in power as governor. Were our arrangement ever detected? My, my, governor. I fear the air of conspiracy has gone to your head. We'll make good on our promise, so long as your end of the bargain is kept. Everything is under control. You can count on me. Bueno. Then I shall away to indulge in your delightful soiree. Tonight, I drink to the death of the Brotherhood. Sacrifice the good of the colony to a Templar conspiracy, Gouverneur. I should ask you why. The Order is the future. The... the Templars will keep our colony French. The Templars will keep the colony Templar. Uh, why does the Ferrer want workers? Uh, uh, Tell me his plans and redeem yourself. I know nothing of his plans. I was to send him slaves. And vagrants, the ones most likely to rise up against... Against those who would oppose oppression and claim the life that is owed them. Uh -huh. <sighs> Rest in peace, Gouverneur.